Hey guys, it's Miharu, and before we get into this, huge thanks to everyone for all the support on my Bianca analysis. I worked very hard to make sure everything was worded properly. That said, we're talking about another female character in the Spyro series today. In fact, the first major female character to make an appearance, Alora. When her design for the Reignited trilogy was revealed back in August of 2018, the fanbase went crazy, for better or for worse. Some people, like myself, thought she looked super cute and loved the new details to her clothing. Others were complaining about her looking too animalistic and more like an anthro deer. But it doesn't change the fact that she blew up in popularity, accumulating more fan art than even Bianca. So what changed with her in Reignited? Let's take a look. to Alora comparisons, most people are likely to bring up her delivery on the famous line, I'm a fawn, you dork. They'll say how she sounded meaner in the original and more playful in Reignited. I'm a fawn, you dork. And they're not wrong per se. However, was that always the intention? Was that line supposed to sound harsh in the original? I'm not so sure. She certainly sounds a bit annoyed, what with the more emphatic tone on the word dork, which in itself is kind of a soft word to be using if you're truly upset. But I always saw Alora as a kind-hearted character, so it wouldn't make sense for her to suddenly snap at Spyro. Honestly, I think he's to blame here. That question was kind of rude. This is definitely a case of the graphical limitations being a hindrance, because it's entirely possible they didn't mean for it to come off that way in the first place. It would be easy to say that the problem with Alora in Reunited is that she's too nice and affectionate towards Spyro. And the last part is true. I mean, they really played up her crush on him with those tail wagging animations. But is that really the issue here? How she acts towards Spyro? Let's leave that be for a moment and shift focus to how she acts due to the presence of another character, Ripto. Listen to each of these lines back to back. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Go through the portal, you idiot! To all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! Now, I will admit the musical changes were a contributing factor in making the impact feel different, but just going by vocal performance alone, there's obvious fear in her voice in the original. Don't ask how she knew it was going to come through that portal, but she could sense Avalar was in danger, and that really comes across in her delivery. And then there's the fact that, at the end of the scene in Reignited, they cut out her saying that they better go to Glimmer right now. How about Glimmer? Good idea! We better go right now! Replacing it with this rather awkward moment of the characters smiling at each other in silence. Maybe I'm looking too deep into this, but I found that line to be somewhat important because it gave a more clear impression that the safety of Avalar was Alora's number one concern, and that they needed to catch a dragon as soon as possible to get rid of Ripto. But now that I think about it, it does make some sense why they removed it, seeing as she stated at the beginning of the scene that this had happened a week ago, thus making the right now part a bit confusing. Even in her first line of the game, you can hear a major difference. The original sounds so impatient, but again, it isn't meant to come off as irritable, but rather distressed. You can tell she's very worried about the whole ordeal and just wants it to be over. Is it working, Professor? As for her in the remake, she wants the same thing, of course, but has a different way of expressing it. And this line right here says it all. Oh no! She sees Ripto as a mere annoyance, nothing more, nothing less. And after Gulp's fight when she thinks he's gone, listen to that relief and compare it with this. Spyro, you did it! Spyro, you did it! It's too watered down, as if she's not fully emoting her satisfaction with all Spyro's done for them. Probably the only line of hers I have a problem with. If you're still confused, allow me to paint a better picture of the distinction between these two portrayals of the character. Elora in the original seems to prioritize the well-being of Avalar and its inhabitants, and is set on removing the threat by whatever means necessary, while reignited Elora treats the situation as if it's just the worst day than usual. After all, we know for a fact that things were pretty bad even before Ripto showed up. But that's not to say she lost her caring nature completely. The new animations added the extra detail of her helping the professor up in this scene, and there's an air of respect in her tone when speaking to him, which I really like. In fact, her clothing could even be seen as symbolic, the leaf dress possibly representing her gentle demeanor and how in touch she is with the world around her. To put it simply, it all comes down to a serious versus carefree personality, and both are fine. Alora didn't have a character arc. 
She was the same from start to finish, with no strict guidelines that needed to be followed. To me personally, it isn't a case of right and wrong. But what do you guys think? Do you prefer the more overplayed or underplayed portrayal? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. And shout out to my editor, Hysteric Animations. He is currently uploading all of Spyro Reignited in 60 FPS, so please go to his channel and check that out. As always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.